Back with Judy Lovin from Lovin Vineyards and Wines, getting a little wine tasting on this Thursday, learning about all the exciting things happening, not only at Lovin Vineyards and Wines, but... Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Big month for Iowa winemakers because it, is, because it is Iowa Wine Month. Talk a little bit about yeah. that. How perfect yes, it for is. you. Yeah, it is. And it, we all, all our wineries mm -hmm. will be doing events. Mm -hmm. There will be a wine trail that will go in different areas of the state. So you can sign up in mm -hmm. the north, northwest, northeast, central, mm -hmm. southern. So lots of things going on in Iowa yeah. Wine Month. So. Yeah, and that's. Will all the banks yeah. and government offices be closed, or is it just normal? Uh, they're probably drinking on the job. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes no, they're not. Nice. <laughs> Believe me. So, all right, you brought some good yeah. samples here with you. I did. Uh, Chris and Catherine pretty much opened everything up. And there's nothing left for me to touch at this point, or is there? Oh, there no. always is. Okay. Oh, yes. There always is. So this one right here, I brought a couple dry whites, a couple dry reds. Um, this one right here is a new one to us, and I'll say it's a little bit chilly right now, but this mm -hmm. we tried to emulate a Chardonnay. Okay. So, new Iowa grape, it's called Itasca, and we fermented it a little bit different, added a yeast, that's a Chardonnay yeast, so all these things, the way you ferment it, the way the yeast you use, everything Ooh. can change that wine. What would you serve so, best with this? Yeah. I would do a chicken. Okay. Yeah. I mean, typical. Like a chicken salad yeah. sandwich yeah. or something. That, like that would work too. Yeah. That would work Chicken too. nuggets? Yep. No, no, probably. Well, okay. If that's your thing, <laughs> chicken nuggets Well, work. not really, but no. <laughs> Remember that whole drinking at work thing? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, this was the sparkling, right? Yeah. May I? Yeah. Just because Absolutely. I was excited. And this is new to the portfolio, right? Well, we've had it. We just haven't, we've tried to take it to farmer's markets because that's basically how we've been selling mm -hmm. and then wholesale mm -hmm. to this yeah. point till we open our place. But um, it's hard to take a sparkling to a market and give them a little bit of sample like that. Mm. It's just really hard. Yeah. So yes and no. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's just a blend of all of our whites coming from our Animosa Vineyard. So yeah. Gotcha. Nice. And then, then we've got the reds over here. Yeah. Before we dip into that, you talked about the expansion and yeah. uh, you know, how you guys are gonna grow. How did this all start? I know we kind of touched on it last time you were here, but yeah. how did you get from the beginning to here we are now <laughs> on TV talking about it and expanding back it, to Animosa? It's all happened <laughs> organically, and I never, if you'd asked me 10 years ago, are you going to be doing this? Nope. Mm -hmm. I was planning on just going around and <laughs> golfing in every state. It was really our goal in retirement, but our youngest son was brewing beer. And he kept trying to get me to make wine. And I said, I don't have time to make wine. I'm just too busy. At that time, I was CFO at Raining Rose. Um, and so I did. And it was fun. And we had a great time. So him and I, I saw classes at Kirkwood. And I said, hey, how about if we do these classes? And he's like, no, no, no. I don't have time. I'm like, no, oh, this will be a blast. Mm -hmm. So we did. And we had a wonderful time. We, we met. All kinds of people. Mm -hmm. Walker Homestead, our great friends over by Iowa City, uh, they were in the class. Oh So Good was in the class. I mean, all these wineries that came mm -hmm. up, Olathe is out of Leclerc, they came through these classes that unfortunately they don't have anymore. Uh, but we just encourage each other to just keep going, keep going. Dan yeah. saw a guy with a vineyard over by Animosa, which is our hometown where we grew up and stopped and asked him if he could help and he helped and he goes they talked and talked and he goes do you want to manage it so you can really see <laughs> yeah. how hard the work is yeah and he came home he goes what do you think and i'm like how many grapes and he goes sixteen thousand pounds i'm like what are we going to do with sixteen thousand yeah. pounds of grapes a lot of so toast and jelly that, is. that really is yeah. Yeah. at that time we had zero tanks so we uh sold yeah. park farm up by dubuque yeah. sold to them a few other places and mm -hmm. it we we just kept growing and yeah. growing and people like the wine and we got 30 rare. seconds left yep. i want to make sure people know where to find you and yeah. then learn more yep. about you yeah yeah so you can check out our website lovinvineyards.com you can find us at the miriam market dubuque market mm -hmm. we will be this year we'll be opening our place by animosa in early july and you can buy our product right now in in Marion at Bloom's at Marion Chocolate Shop at Beans Teas and other things in Animosa mm -hmm. you can go to Boondocks and Thou Art Gallery uh, we're all over the place okay. and all, right. all are listed on our website thanks okay. for coming in thank this you morning. thank you yes. thank you for having me we'll I'm be right back thank you we're gonna we have a little work to do come on back watching <laughs> everyday Iowa on KCRG TV 9.